Okay guys, so tell me, have you ever just sat around and just thought to yourself like, huh, how much debt do I really have? Probably not, but today was one of those days for me. I was just sitting around thinking about like, how much debt do I really have? And I added it up and I'm a little shocked about how much debt we have. So today I'm going to share with you guys how much debt um, I have. So if you want to know just how much debt I have, be sure to stay around. I'll tell you. Welcome back to my channel, guys. If you are new here, I am free and this is Kupat and Diva. And around these parts, I talk about how to make your money work for you. So if you um, want to know how to do that, well, this is going to be the place, the channel for you. So um, today I'm going to be sharing with you guys how much debt that me and my husband um, actually have. And I'm a little nervous about this um, because I'm sharing with you guys like our real financial numbers. Like these are real numbers. This is like the debt that we actually have. This is the debt that we're actually like paying on like right now. Like this is like for real. So I'm a little nervous like sharing this information with you. Not because it's a little or because it's a lot. Just simply because um, like it's personal. Like me and my husband, we don't go around just like, yo, we have, you know, this amount of debt. Like we don't even talk to each other about our debt. Like that's just how serious it is. Like we tiptoe around the debt that we have and we just, you know, do what we do. And that's how we function. And it may be dysfunctional, but it's functional, like, for us. It's, I mean, it's gotten us this far. I mean, it's not great, but, I mean, we've gotten this far in life, um, kind of doing what we're doing. Not saying that what we're doing is working, because obviously it's not working, because if it was working, I would be sitting here telling you how much debt we got, okay? So, I'm just keeping it real with you guys, but, um, I just want you guys to know that, like, I mean, in life, like, you do what you do, and that's what it is, and then, like, you mature, and you grow, and you learn, and you decide to make different decisions moving forward in life, and that's just kind of, like, where we're, where, like, where we're at in, in life, like, we're growing, we're maturing, we're wanting different things, we're, you know, doing different things, and, so it's time to make different moves than what we've been making because those moves hasn't gotten us where we wanted to get to. So that's why, you know, we're, you know, making these changes in kind of like why I'm sharing, you know, this information with you because it's, you know, kind of a way for me to be accountable, you know, for the debt that we have. I put it out there, you know. And I tell you, like, kind of, like, how we got here and, you know, all that. And then it's a way for, for you know, me to say, okay, well, somebody knows that, like, we got, like, this amount of debt, like, in the world. And what am I going to do about it? Like, what are we going to do about it? We're going to clean it up. That's what we're going to do about it. But for now, I'm just going to tell you how much debt we have and later I'll tell you like how we're going to clean it all up that'll come in another video. So before we get started, I want to give you guys a little bit of a backstory. There's not much of a backstory, but there's a little bit of a backstory to kind of like how we got here. Um, so when I met my husband, I was going to school and I already had taken out a student loan. So a student loan was something that I already had when I met him. So that's the only debt that we had like coming like together that we haven't like eliminated, like, you know, paid off in, you know, these years. So every debt that we have right now is pretty current debt that we've gotten over like the last year, two years, maybe. So the student loan is the only old debt and everything else is new. So I will tell you guys about that debt in just a minute. Um, I will share with you guys. I have it written down here on this paper. This is like our debt, like right here. Don't pay attention to this over here. This has nothing to do with nothing. Uh, it was just a random piece of paper that I grabbed and I wrote down like everything that we, you know, have that we're paying on 
minus, and I know I got land on here and I got house on here, but this is going to be all our debt minus the land and minus the house. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to jump right in and I'm just going to start telling you about the debt and how much it is um, for each thing that we have and kind of, you know, why we have it or what have you. Um, so like I told you, when I met my husband, I had a student loan. And so I still have that student loan, um, balance or that debt that needs to be taken care of. Um, and that debt is $12,796 or $97. So everything is rounded up. So there will not be any change. There'll be all like rounded numbers. So it's $12,797, um, for the student loan. Um, the next thing we have is a washer and dryer. Our washer and dryer went out. Well, our dryer went out and he tried to fix it like a couple of times, like two or three times. And the heating element kept going out of it. So he just went and he got a washer and a dryer um, to match. Uh, and I think that was partly like because of me. Um, because I'm kind of like that type of person. Like I don't want the washer if it doesn't match the dryer. I don't want the dryer if it don't match the washer. Like... I don't know. Like, I just, I, I don't know. But I think that's partly, like, why he bought, like, the washer and the dryer. But he said it was cheaper to buy them together, though. He did say that. It was cheaper to buy the washer and dryer together than to just buy the washer by itself. So he bought them as a set. Um, And so we owe, I want to say, roughly $1,000. Probably a little less than that on the washer and dryer. Then we have the dishwasher. Our dishwasher, technically it didn't stop working, but you had to like rig it to like make it work. So I don't know why he got tired of it because he wasn't putting any dishes in the dishwasher and washing them. I was. Um, but again, I think it was just because of me um, knowing that like that was something that I would complain about. He went and he got a dishwasher. Now, the microwave, I mean the microwave, the um, dishwasher and the washer and dryer both come from cons. Now, my husband loves cons. He is a cons lover. If you don't know what cons is, it is a appliance. Well, it's not really like an appliance um, store because they sell appliances. They sell mattresses. They sell um, furniture. So... They're kind of like a all a roundabout like store and you go in there and they give you like, you know, a credit um, to like what you can buy. And we've been going to cons for years. And so he's built up like his credit like with cons. And so, you know, he thinks that that's like having him build his credit. So he continues to go to cons for things. And I'm trying to get him like out of that habit of going to cons. I don't really care for cons. Uh, not like my favorite you know, place to go to get stuff, but because I know that we can, that's where we go. So those two things are from cons. Um, the next debt that we have is $808. And that is the sleep number bed. We have a sleep number bed. We had to get rid of our bed that we had. And that was a necessity that we had to do. We had to get rid of it. Um, so we did, and then we went without a bed for a couple of months, and we slept in one of our guest um, bedrooms until we got a bed, and that was the bed that my husband wanted was a sleep number bed. He introduced it to me, and so once he introduced it to me, I fell in love with it too. I'm like, oh my God, I can recline, and I can, you know, sit up in the bed, and I can, you know, raise my feet up, and they can get warm, and little toes up, and all that stuff. So then I got excited about it, and I wanted it. After he introduced it to me, but so it was something that he wanted, and then I wanted it because I was introduced to it. And I mean, who wouldn't want to sleep in my bed? Like, they're awesome. Like, yeah. So, we have one of those, and we owe $808 on it. Um, and then the last debt that we have is Ashley's Furniture, and they are a furniture store. If you don't have like an Ashley's Furniture, like in your area, it's just a furniture store. Um, that you can go and get furniture from. And I think that's pretty much all that they sell is just furniture. So you can get like your bed, your couches, and recliners and things like that um, from Ashley's. And we owe $678 in debt and on that one. So 
the oh i forgot i don't know how i forgot this i just ran right over this particular dad why i don't know like i guess it's a car that's why i ran over it <laughs> um is our car we have a minivan we have a honda odyssey and um yes i'm a minivan driver i absolutely love it it's like my dream car i know people think i'm weird and all that stuff but i absolutely love my minivan like i love it so um like i said we have a honda odyssey and we owe about twenty five thousand uh on our minivan so the minivan and the uh student loans are the two highest things that we have and when i add everything up it comes out to about forty one thousand dollars in debt now i know that some of you may say like that's not a lot of debt but it is a lot of debt like that's forty one thousand dollars we could have in a savings account somewhere you know what i'm saying so to us it's a lot of debt and it's debt that we don't want to have anymore like we want to you know, get rid of it and live a more comfortable life. Because right now, we we some broke people. We $41,000 in a hole. And we don't want to live like that anymore. So, um, yeah, we want to just pay off the debt and, you know, live a more comfortable life um, than what we are currently living. I can't complain to say that life is bad because life is not bad. Um, at all, but you know, you pay off this debt, like that's like a release of money that you didn't have. And so once you, you know, release that money, you know, you now have that money, you can do all kinds of things, you know, with that money, you can build your emergency savings funds. You can take a family vacation, you know, we can go on a honeymoon. I mean, we've never been on a honeymoon. We've been married, um, almost 15 years. And I mean, we've never been on a honeymoon. So, I mean, there's, numerous things that we could do with $41,000 other than pay it to, you know, somebody, to some creditor. So, um, so yeah, um, it's, it's a pretty big deal for us in this household. So I hope that, um, you know, me sharing with you guys, my numbers has, and, you know, and my backstory has kind of, you know, helped you in some kind of way, you know, even if it's just, don't do what we do. Don't just run to the store and buy stuff just because. Um, or, you know, because you're making your significant other happy. Just, you know, like, talk about it and take time to see if there is, you know, other things that you can do to, you know, that you can do to kind of solve this problem. Like, I, I mean, I don't want to. But, I mean, I could have gone to the washer tier. It's not something that I want to do, but it's something that I could have done until we could have paid for it in cash. Like, I'm just going to keep it real. Like, that's just something that I could have done. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, like I say, I hope that this video has, you know, inspired you in some type of way or has helped you in some type of way. Um, if you are, you know just coming around, finding me, and you kind of like, you know, my little vibe that I got going on here or whatever, go ahead and hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss a video that I put out. I'll be putting out more content like this um, for you guys. So um, be on the lookout for that. And that is all that I have for you for today, guys. Um, bye.